Hello, what's going on YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty good. So today I got this uh, Lunchbox Pokemon, Dialga Palkia. I uh, thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to check it out. Got the, all the Hisuian forms on the backside. It's upside down. We're just going to jump right into this, man. Oh, shoot, so it all came apart. But I did clickbait you a little bit. This is not necessarily a mystery box um, like you guys would normally expect to see. So I'm going to pop all this out here. We're going to go through this and uh, show you what it's, what it's got inside. If you ever see this, you know, you're interested in buying it. comes with five packs. It's got the Fusion Strike. Looks like Astral Radiance and Silver Tempest. I've been seeing a lot of Silver Tempest in bundles, pretty much, you know, whatever you see. If you see them in tins, a lot of times you see them in there. Um, it's got three Hisuian cards. Um, and you'll see these in the normal set. Uh, I mean, like you see right there, that's, you know, that's Astral Radiance right there. Where's the Sneasler from? Sneasler's also from Astral Radiance. Um, but that's kind of cool. They're the, the little bit of hollow on them. So that's something you don't normally see. And it comes with a pretty cool coin too, man. I like that. Is that Dialga on there? I think it's actually Palkia. But comes with a cool coin. It comes with another couple goodies. Um, if you're just in it for the, for the packs, you know, these aren't really going to mean a whole lot to you, but got a notebook it's blank in there if you like drawing anything like that it's there um it comes with a couple sticker pads you know each one of those comes out those are the hasuians i think this came out early um in the sword and shield like like that the second wave era of, of 2022 and stuff um i was promoting all this and this is something actually i'm gonna get this out of the way lunchbox over time i'm gonna get that out of the way pop that bad boy up there but this is what i thought was pretty cool so it comes with um a little, a little card book uh, i actually don't know how many this holds uh, i haven't opened it yet i'm not gonna open it after the video but it comes with uh, a little card holder now this probably isn't the best card holder in the world you can see it in there but it's still pretty cool so if, you, if you're getting into collecting you just want to start out or something like that that'd be really neat to get so yeah click page y'all say this was a mystery box uh, a little code card for you guys at home. It's actually not a mystery box. It's kind of, I kind of said it was a mystery box because, you know, it's kind of a mystery. What all is inside? You know, it tells you a little bit, but it doesn't tell you everything that's inside of it. Uh, and then it comes with these five packs. Uh, we're going to jump right into it, man. I think I'm going to save the Fusion Strike for last. We're going to start with Astral Radiance first. I've actually had some pretty good pulls with Astral Radiance in the past. Um, pulled the uh, Alt Art, golly, Alt Art uh, uh, Palkia in here, Origin Form. I've actually pulled that twice, which is kind of crazy. I really haven't pulled anything else crazy in this. I think the uh, the Dialga's in there. That's pretty big. Uh, and I'm not really sure what else. I think, good card, upside down. I really don't remember what else is really big in this. I know that's the big one. Um, I mean, you get those V-Stars and Full Arts and stuff, but nothing of, like, real monetary value. And speaking of Pokemon cards and monetary value, you know, I posted that video, I think it was last week, talking about scalpers, things like that. Um... You know, and I realized that video kind of, oh, it's cool. I realized that uh, video kind of came off a little bit harsh. Um, and, you know, there's a Hisuian uh, Growlithe, the non hollow form. Still a really cool background, though. Got the Verse Shield in and got the Ursaluna non hollow. And I realized that video came off a little bit harsh. Um, but, you know, nothing I say on here, I'm going to lie to you guys about. Um, these are my feelings, these are my opinions. This is how I, um, you know, treat the Pokemon space and at least my view on it you know, with what, with what I was saying. So if I hurt anybody's feelings with that, um, anybody's in it for the money, stuff like that, I'm sorry, but you know, really I'm not to be honest. Cause those are my opinions, man. I think Pokemon cards are for collecting. That's just, it's just how I view it. And you know, that's just, just what it is. And speaking of a very collectible set, Pokemon 151 is easy. Eevee. Oh my gosh. Shout out to my boy. Pokemon 151, um, mostly in Japanese, Ponard, and, ooh, Hasui and Lilligant Full Art. All right, all right, look at that bad boy. Oh, that's nice. A little back to a pretty good condition, not super valuable or nothing like that, but that is dope. On to the pull wall. There's one down. All right, all right, so we're already having some good luck with this. I really haven't had a lot of good luck with these bundled packs or anything. I mean, I've been opening uh, some Scarlet and Violet stuff. Um, Scarlet and Violet had a pretty decent pour. I just, for some reason, I feel like, I feel like, 
Valdia Evolve just I don't know if the pull rates are, aren't that great or if I'm just having a poor run right now, but the last couple of things I've opened just haven't opened an ETB had zero pulls from us. So I, I don't know. I mean it's it just could be a me thing right now. Who knows? But Pokemon 151, very collectible set right now. Um I mean the Japanese are kind of going crazy with that with the prices and everything. People are getting scammed left and right. So if you are ordering Pokemon 151, please be aware that um yeah, scammers are kind of running rampant. And with a lot of those uh, sets that are kind of hard to find, you know, um, EV heroes and stuff like that, anything with the valuable cards in it um, are kind of going crazy with scam. But it's not it's not always the case. You got Medicham Hollow. You know, it's just it, it seems like it's kind of a smaller incidence. You know, you see retail stores um, not being able to fulfill orders. Second pack of Silver Tempest here. Uh, just because they're getting scammed by their big box uh you know, order company and stuff. And it's just, you don't want to see it, but it is, just, it is the way it is right now. Um, so be careful if you're ordering 151 online and in the English side of things, we are not getting the, um, booster boxes like they are over there. So they're getting booster boxes. We're getting it in the form of a Mew special collection, which I think that Mew card will be in there. Uh, from my understanding, the Mew card with the little sunset in the background that, that kind of goes up and down. I believe that will be in there. Um, in the uh, premium collection and so i'm waiting for those to come out that'll be pretty cool i think there's some other things i think there's an etb version of it got the stun fisk and melodic non-hollow pulled a lot of those i don't know what that is with uh silver tempest seems like it's pretty common but yeah uh man i'm looking forward to 151 i'm gonna be honest i am not i don't know what it is oh these this feels cheap oh man so there was some uh I think it was the Mimikyu. Oh, well, showed that off. Hopefully still get something cool in here. Um, I think the Mimikyu boxes, yeah, these feel a little cheaper. Uh, had these international, like, European print cards. I think that might be what these are, which, I mean, the cards are still fine, but it, they do just feel a little bit cheaper. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, I'm looking for the 151. Um, probably get an ETB of that. I, I would like to get the premium collection because those that's just really cool. But with Scarlet and Violet, we're not Scarlet Violet. Paldea Evolved. I just have not been having a lot of luck. The Vulpix. Ooh. That's a rare. And got the Starmie Hollow. Well, nothing crazy in that one either. So, overall, not a lot of great pulls in this. Like I said, it could be my luck. Who knows? Five packs, though. One full art. You can't really beat that. It's not the best in the world. But, I mean, I do like this full art. Um... I've been kind of all over the place in this video, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I might be opening some more Paldi Evolve soon. I opened an ETB, got zero pulls in it, so I just I haven't been that excited about it. I mean, no, no pulls out of out of nine packs in there. You know, it's that's it's kind of a lot of money. It's forty five dollars to get nothing. I've been kind of on the singles market lately. You know, I've been buying a lot of SBN cards that are pretty cool. You know, stuff like that, things that I'm really interested in. Um, so I don't know. There's just not a lot that I'm really interested in opening right now. So I opened this because I thought it was pretty cool, you know, a little, little bit of surprise. So if you guys know of anything you'd like to see me open, anything talk about, anything like that, you know, let me know. But uh, until next time, you guys have a great day.